everyone, Jagtagger93 here with yet another comprehensive Doom Wad review. Today we're looking at Sharkskin 1, a map released on July 2019 by Zio CM. In the review file, the author explains that this is their second map, but it's the first one they thought that was upload worthy. They also say that it's meant to be played on ultraviolence, even going so far as to say, quote, If you play on anything lower than ultraviolence, you deserve to be strained of blood and killed. Play on ultraviolent or higher. And that made me laugh. I know we tend to treat ultraviolence like the default difficulty on wads, but I really believe in a good map, ultraviolence should really be hard, actually really hard. You know, it's just shy under Nightmare, so this mode should force you to really learn the map inside and out, or get used to quick saving. So overall, I need to be honest about this map, and uh, I just gotta come out and say it, it's not really that good. It's by no means awful. Uh, there are a few really nice touches here and there, but there's just a bit more that needs work in my opinion. I want to be as lenient as possible with the map maker here because I believe they definitely had the best attentions at heart when they're making this, and they're still new to map making and they're still hoping to learn. So before I really get into the criticisms, I really want to start off with the parts I enjoyed. This map has a type of aesthetic to it that you'd expect from a new map maker and I kind of find that a bit charming in a, in a weird, janky way, actually. And I appreciated the author's attempt at mood lighting in specific areas to build the tension. I appreciate the effort the author made in varying the combat up according to the dynamic environment of this map. What I mean is the WAD starts off very close corridor combat fighting, strong emphasis on using the chainsaw and limited ammunition, but things become much more open later in the map, so that's a pretty good progression of gameplay. Basic, but it works. Ammo was placed smartly for the most part, forcing the players to smartly use their chainsaw and ultraviolence to conserve bullets and shells. Also, I really liked uh, Nine Inch Nails is Closer as our music, but I'm also a little confused about it too. You see, I'm a firm believer in using music to accentuate either the gameplay or the aesthetics of the map. So I'm not quite sure why Closer was picked, maybe it's because the author was going for a 90s style map and when you think of 90s music, uh, Nine Inch Nails is close to the top of the you know, things I think of. But I think you could have picked a few other different songs that would be much more fitting. And, you know, I think it would be really cool if you actually build a map around the song. So, for example, if I'm playing a map and I hear Head Like a Hole playing, I kind of hope to see an Icon of Sin. Or if it's March of the Pigs, then I'm hoping to be chainsawing through plenty of pinkies. Or hell, if it's a Pilgrimage, then you got to have the map in a temple-like environment. Or, you know what, if it's Big Man with a Gun... Then I'm thinking this is going to be a slaughter map with a BFG. Oh, or maybe like a Seven Layers of Hell type wad with Downward Spiral playing. That would be so badass. You know, I got a bunch of ideas actually like that. But anyway, my point is, I'm not exactly sure why this particular track was picked. But you know what? As a Nine Inch Nails fan, I'm not complaining. And I'm happy to hear it here. It, uh, it you know, kind of helped take me a little bit back to the 90s a little bit. So uh, kudos for that. Anyway, like I said, this wad has its share of problems too, unfortunately. There were issues with the textures for starters, as you can see. Also, aesthetically, I'm not exactly sure what the theme to this map was. At first, you start in what looks to be the atrium area of some kind of UAC research facility. But the mishmash of different texture styles you shortly thereafter really had me a bit confused. Uh, speaking of confusing, the enemy selection. Very confusing. There just happens to be Nazis here. Uh, just cause. Now, I'm thinking if we're starting in a UAC research facility and you want a rapid-fire hitscan uh, enemy, just use the chain gunners. That's that's their purpose. But no, uh, there's Nazis here. And toward the end of the map, there also is a misaligned wall of Hitler portraits, too, from... Well, I, I'm not sure why that's there. It's just, just there, just because. Um, the end of the wad, too, is a bit of a dud. I like the ambush right before it. Uh, it's a three-pronged ambush, and it, it's pretty cool. And... Uh, I love how the author smartly placed the Archile behind a couple meat shield uh, enemies. However, after getting through that, you come to a really mundane looking switch, and I thought there'd be much more to the map. So I flip the switch, and boop, it's the end of the map, and I hate when that happens. I hate when you come, and when you have a map, and you come to a mundane looking switch, and you flip it, and you're expecting something more, but no, nope, uh, you see that end screen, and uh, yeah. The uh, item placement too is a bit wonky as well. Spheres are plentiful, even on ultraviolence. Which means this wad is pretty much a breeze for most experienced players on UV. Uh, now I found one secret, but it was just more shells. 
and I prefer maps where the bare essential and mundane items are out in the open, while things like soul spheres are tucked away as secrets, and that forces the players to explore as a penance for making too many mistakes. Lastly, I found this one area here where you can get stuck if you're not careful, and you'll need to jump to get out, which kind of ruins the uh, 90s experience, right? Uh, no jumping. Overall, Sharkskin 1 earns a 52% rating for me. Now remember, I do a rating system where the 50s are considered average, not bad, not good, just so-so. Just 40s I consider below average, and below that are wads I do not recommend. Uh, the gameplay here is solid enough to make this one acceptable and, and worth a little playthrough. It's a fun map, but unfortunately it's also a flawed and forgettable one too. Still, I appreciate the time that went into it, and I look forward to seeing how the author improves with their next wad. And I appreciate all of you out there for watching. This is Jag Taggart 93 signing out. You all have a good one.